Hey guys, it's your favorite Huntsville Realtor here, Cameron Walker, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of one of my favorite Madison neighborhoods, Lauren Wood Preserve. This is a relatively young community located just north of Highway 72 in Madison. Today I'll fill you in on this community, the location, nearby shopping and dining options, commute options, schools, community amenities, HOA, and recent home sales trends and pricing. Okay, let's dive right in. As I mentioned, Lauren Wood Preserve is located in North Madison, and it's tucked between Capshaw Road and Old Railroad Bed Road. This is a great location as it gives you two major entrances to the community, easy access to nearby grocery stores, dining, and entertainment options. You're also only a couple of minutes from Huntsville Hospital's Madison location, and you have several grocery stores to choose from. There's both a Target and a Walmart less than five minutes away, and you have the brand new Cliffs Farm development with tons of restaurants and more opening all the time. You can also get all this without being on the main drag or having all the traffic and road noise that comes with it. In addition to the nearby amenities, you also have easy commuting options to get to downtown Huntsville, Redstone Arsenal, or Cummings Research Park. All of these are less than 30 minutes away. Research Park is only 17 minutes away, which also means you're only 15 minutes away from the Mid-City Entertainment Area. There you'll find Top Golf, Arcades, Bowling, Rock Climbing, and our brand new Trader Joe's. But back to the work commute, right? Many of these jobs in Huntsville are located in Research Park. And even if you work from home, you may be going there from time to time for meetings or to meet with clients. So if you're moving here from a more heavily trafficked area, you're going to love the short commute of only 15 to 20 minutes. Redstone Arsenal is only 23 minutes away, and once again, you have multiple options. So there are several gates to get into Redstone Arsenal, so you might even want to go down to Martin Road, south of I-565, and go in that way. If you choose that route, you'll go past Town Madison, and you'll see our brand new Toyota Field, which is home to our minor league team, the Trash Pandas. Once again, this is another area with tons of shopping, dining, and entertainment options, and it's less than 30 minutes from Lauren Preserve. Okay, that should give you a good sense of the area and what's nearby. Just throw in a couple of extra tidbits. You're really close to Athens, Alabama, Decatur, Alabama, and you have an easy shot at I-65 as well. All right, let's talk about the neighborhood itself. As I mentioned earlier, it's a relatively young community, and that's because new construction just wrapped up in 2021. Builders were actively building in Lauren Preserve for about a decade, so some homes on the market can range anywhere from brand new to about 10 years old. The homes range in size from three bedroom and two bath, with just under 1,900 square feet, to five bedroom and four bath with almost 3,400 square feet. There's also a good mix of ranch style single story homes and traditional two story homes as well. Sales prices in the past year range from about 265,000 to 410,000. Over half of those home sales were new construction. Average days on market were just three days. Average sales price is 327,000 and average list price increase over the last eight, uh, 12 months was 18%. Now take all that with a grain of salt because there's a lot of new construction in the mix there, over half of it, right? And with that, some of that pricing was really from late 2022 to early 2021. And had those homes already been built and on the market, they would have sold for more and maybe even more quickly. So I would say hedge a little higher on that average sales price. All right, as you can see in the video, this neighborhood is extremely well maintained. There's sidewalks throughout the community, and it's easy to get out and walk the dog, take out the jogging stroller, or just be outside and enjoy a walk yourself. You can walk to all the community amenities, which includes two ponds, one on either side of the main entrance. Enjoyment of these ponds is exclusive to the homeowners in the neighborhood. Both ponds have a central water feature and sidewalks at about halfway around the pond. You also have the pool, clubhouse, tennis court, and basketball goal, as well as some parking there at the entrance to the neighborhood. And this is where you'll find, you know, all the major amenities there, and it can be easily accessed by sidewalks in the community as well. Plus, the clubhouse can be rented for private parties. I have a few professional photos in here of uh, the house I recently sold in the community. This is one of the older homes that was built in 2012. So it'll give you a good idea of some of the fit and finish on the interior, as well as, well as what the homes look like on the outside. Okay, that should give you a good idea of the community and the homes available. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks about this community, because nowhere's perfect, right? The community isn't an HOA, so if you're not if you're looking to stay away from an HOA, this isn't the right neighborhood for you. And the annual fee is about four hundred dollars. My understanding is the HOA is fairly strict about the exterior look of the properties. Also, there's no traffic light at either entrance, so sometimes you have to sit there for a minute or two before you can exit during rush hour. And the last thing, the community right next door, it's an older community. The homes are smaller, they're a little command a little bit less in sales price, and they're older. They're very well kept, but I know that having an older community can be a turnoff for some people. 
Down below, I've included a link for my digital assistant. You click on it, it'll open up, and it can take you to links for if you're looking for past sales, community information, school information, the reports you saw in my video, uh, if you want to get a property valuation, anything like that, this tool is super handy and be able to take care of it for you. Or you're always welcome to reach out to me directly. My contact information is always in the description, or feel free to leave a note in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.